Okay, so now we'll teach you how to remove the back wheel. Real simple, using a number three. You got to unscrew right, the plastic cover. Right, just using the Allen key, the M3 Allen key. Right, take the screw out. Let's remove the plastic cover. Same thing for the other side. Remove the plastic cover. Okay. See the wires here? And do the wire connection to the motor. Take the yellow, green, and blue out. Right now, you're free. Okay, so you'll see a nut and a washer that secures the motor to the frame. Right, what you do is take a wrench and loosen it. Okay, I've already loosened it somewhat, and you can use your fingers to just uh, take it out. Same, for, same thing for the other side. You gotta take the mud guard off, right? Same thing, use an M3. All the screws are the same size. So just one Allen key can uh, dismantle pretty much most of the unit here. Right? Just loosen the four screws that secures the mud guard. It's done. Remove it. You don't have to take the screws out, right? Just place it somewhere safe. Right. And the tire, you see that you know there's a slot here for the axle. Same thing for the other side. Just slowly wriggle the back wheel out of the slot. Sometimes it may get a bit tight, and that's because the axle is slanted so you just use a, a wrench to kind of uh, loosen the axle to, or to make it to make it in line with the slot here and then you can slide it out voila All right. so now we have removed the wheel of the my way we'll fit it into this donut here first things first just like from the front wheel remove all the air from tire. Alright, help it along by pinching it. Use a wrench to uh, to press the valve in so that the air air can be released easier. Okay. Now we are more or less uh, totally deflated. Use the same two uh, normal bicycle uh, levers. Start from the opposite end, from where the valve is. Okay. Take it out. Okay. Scoop it. Just gotta be very careful about this. Scoop it out like that. There you go. Push the rubber. Remember, once you scoop it, hold it there. Okay. Make sure the rubber doesn't. Uh, make sure the rubber overlaps against the rim. Okay, and come a little bit ways down. Scoop it again. Right. Make sure scoop it out such that the t tire comes out of the rim. Right there. Go a little bit down. Do the same thing. A bit down. Do the same thing. Pop whole thing comes up. Right now, push the valve of the tube through. Take your hand out and you should be able to pull the whole tube out. There, step one, done. Alright, now check the inside of the tire for any sharp objects. Right, that's really important. You don't have to go through the whole process of changing the tube and then you know replacing a new tube and then have the same puncture because the sharp objects still stuck on it. It can be a stapler, it can be a nail, 
It can be anything, right? It can be a pebble, sharp pebble. Right, so make sure the sharp object is removed before you put the new tube in. Now, how are you going to put the new tube in? Right. Look for the valve hole in the rim. Stick the valve hole through. Align the tube flat against the inside of the, of the tire. Okay. Make sure everything is tucked in. Make sure there are no knots, right? That's important. Make sure it's fully flushed against the interior wall of the tire. Okay. And then, easy, the next step. And this part you can entirely use your hands for it. Right, make sure, start from the valve side. Right, when you took the tire out, you started from the side opposite, opposite the valve. But when you're going to put the tire back in, start from the valve side, hold one side, and slowly tuck it back in. Okay, there you go. Easy. Right. Pinch the tire to make sure that there are no knots. Right. Bounce it a little bit. Pinch and bounce at the same time and inflate it to 45 psi. Alright, now just bounce it a few more times. Make sure the knots are all gone. Okay, alright. Now, ready to install. Okay, so once you've done changing the tire or changing the tube right, out of the rear wheel, it's time to put it back in. Real simple, just do everything in reverse. All right, make sure the washers that you see here on both sides, right, are on the inside of the slot. Okay, so they should be closer to the wheel. Or clo yeah, closer to the wheel than um, you know they shouldn't be on the outside of the frame. It's gonna be a tight fit. Slot it back in. Okay. Now once you're done, you make sure it's fully in to the end. And once you're done, there's another washer outside with a hook. Right. Make sure the hook slots into the slit in the frame. Okay. This has to go into the slit. Right. Pull the nut in and tighten it first with your fingers. And then you can do the rest of the tightening using the wrench. Okay. Same thing for the other side. Right. Right. You have a washer and you have a nut. Right. So make sure that this hook on the washer fits into the slip. Right. Tighten your hands. Until you can go no more. And then tighten the wrench. Okay, that's it. All right, make sure they're tight. Make sure they're tight. If not, they'll come loose very quickly. And then you'll be in trouble. Right? Okay, important thing is now to make sure there's free wheel, right? There's a lot of uh, smooth motion on the tires. Okay. That will mean that it's slotted incorrectly. Next, okay, take this electrical wires, connect back, white with white, it's all color coded. So just collect, connect the two wires of the same color together blue with blue, green with green, and yellow with yellow. Okay, tuck the wires neatly in. Replace the plastic covers, right? Slot them in properly. Okay, make sure they fit. Right, take the M3 again. Insert it into the hole on the underside. And screw them in. Okay, make sure they're tight. Same thing for the other side. Slot it in, right? 
and tighten the screw. Alright, we're almost done. Save for the mud guard. Right, take the mud guard. And tighten the four screws. Okay, and you're done. Right, and that's how you change the MyWay tire uh, in the case of puncture.